Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'm back with another video. Man, I'm being I'm consistent lately. But look, Canelo Alvarez. I, I really didn't want to do this video, but I had to because just because I'm tired of Canelo and his camp and his supporters, you know, they they have a very short memory. So we gotta bring up some old news, right? So Canelo has some choice words for Mayweather. Obviously, Floyd Mayweather recently announced that he's gonna return. Uh, to the sport of boxing, right? Floyd Mayweather's 42 years old. We don't really expect him to fight a young prime welterweight, right? We do expect him to fight a UFC fighter and potentially Manny Pacquiao. Now, personally, I don't want to see Floyd Mayweather come back unless he's going to fight one of these young lions. But if you guys are dumb enough to spend money on a Floyd Mayweather pay-per-view in 2020, then by all means, go ahead and rob the bank like you usually do. But we got to talk about Canelo Alvarez because Canelo be feeling himself, man. He just went up uh, to light heavyweight, fought Sergey Kovalev, stopped Sergey Kovalev, knocked him out, and he's feeling himself. So uh, he's still dreaming about that Mayweather fight, right? Let, let's get into Canelo Alvarez's statement. I have always imagined it, but more than a defeat, it is an apprenticeship. I would love to, but I don't think he's turning around here. Now... You know, Canelo Alvarez doesn't speak well, so I'll break that down for you. You know, he wants the rematch with Floyd Mayweather to redeem himself because that is really the only, well, one of uh, three blemishes on his record because he does have two draws. Let's let's be honest. He's, he's got a couple of draws under his belt, and he's got a loss to Floyd Mayweather. But, you know, you can't chalk that loss up to lack of experience. The guy had like 40-something fights around the time he fought Floyd Mayweather, and Floyd Mayweather schooled Canelo Alvarez. It wasn't even close. People say Floyd was running, and he wasn't running. He was walking Canelo Alvarez down. Go back and watch that fight if it's been a while since you've seen it. I mean, uh, the fight did happen in, what, 2013? And I was telling people, and I was... Look, Floyd Mayweather has won so many bets for me. So, telling people, like, there's no way Canelo's beating this guy. He's too young. You know, he's he just not ready. He tried to outbox Floyd Mayweather, which was a bad idea. Has Canelo Alvarez gotten better? Absolutely. Will Floyd Mayweather be silly to fight Canelo Alvarez? Absolutely. Here's the thing, man. The article that I'm reading over here on Boxing News 24 is very anti-Mayweather. They're talking about Mayweather is cherry-picking, and be that as it may. Has Canelo not done the same thing with his career? Has Canelo Alvarez not avoided certain fighters? They're saying that Floyd should come back and fight Canelo because that's the only fight that can net him the amount of money that he's looking to receive. And that's simply not true. Uh, he could go over to the UFC. I mean, he could fight one of these UFC guys. He could fight Pacquiao and rematch. Again, I don't per I don't want to be purchasing these fights. Uh, the last fight I bought was... Uh, dang, what fight did I buy last? I can't even remember what... Oh, you know what? I, f I think I bought Pacquiao versus... Thurman. Yeah, I think I bought that fight because, you know, and I have to give Manny Pacquiao his respect for doing this, for fighting a quote-unquote young lion. But, you know, again, like, we can we can talk about these fighters taking on tough opposition, but there's always room to nitpick everybody because we can talk about how Manny Pacquiao, the only reason why I took this fight with Keith Thurman was because he, he saw something in Keith. He knew that he could beat Keith Thurman, and I should have known that, you know, because Keith Thurman's been a fraud his whole career, but we're not talking about the welterweight Keith Thurman or Manny Pacquiao. We're talking about Floyd Mayweather, Canelo Alvarez. Uh, Canelo's had a great career. Great career. Hall of Fame career. And he's still young. He's going to be in a lot more great fights. But he's got to start taking on the tougher opponents, man. You know, it's one thing to call out an old, decrepit old man like Floyd Mayweather. But, you know, you're up at light heavyweight. Fight Artur Beterbiev. Fight Dimitri Bivol. You know, you had dudes in your own weight class. You had Jamal Charlo, Demetrius Andrade, Billy Joe Saunders. I mean, you, you, you're you bypassing so many big-name fighters, so many tough opponents. 
in, in lieu of, of facing a guy like Sergey Kovalev, who has already been beaten and broken by Andre Ward, uh, lost to Aleda Alvarez. Of course, he got his win back, but you know it doesn't really matter. Almost got stopped by Anthony Yardy, the young boy. Uh, you know, and then Kovalev even went on record and saying he only took that fight for the money. He didn't have enough time to prepare for the fight. So why is Floyd Mayweather going to come back at 42 years old to fight Canelo Alvarez? I mean, if I'm being very pragmatic about it, I don't think Floyd Mayweather beats Canelo Alvarez. So why even take that risk? Why take the risk? A lot of you will say, oh, well, if he if he's a real fighter, he'll he'll take on tough opposition. Nah, man, not a 42. Not when he stands to make a lot of money fighting someone he could pretend, someone that he could definitely beat. Over Canelo Alvarez. But, you know, Canelo likes to eat tainted meat. You know, he likes to pretend like he ain't cycling on his bike or, you know, other cycles. You know, over there cleaning in the buterol. Clean buterol. Look, let me stop playing. You guys don't tune in to hear me, you know, make fun of these fighters. You don't tune in to hear me, you know, call these guys out. You know, you guys tune in for me to be very objective you know, like a lot of these other channels out here. So, you know, what I what I bring to you is just my opinions on the matter. Uh, Kenel Alvarez, I feel, is a fraud with a good resume. Uh, Floyd Mayweather coming back to rob the bank. Um, Kenel Alvarez should pay homage to Floyd because Floyd passed the torch to him after he beat him, after he whooped him. So does Kenel Alvarez beat Floyd Mayweather in 2020? We'll never know. And you'll never know either. You can speculate as much as you want. But that fight's not going to happen. Hitman Boxing. Drop a comment. Like the video. Subscribe. Um, consistency is key in the sport of boxing. And I'm just being consistent right now. I'm out.